With the release of Lightyear, we now have five films inside of the Toy Story franchise. So today, I thought it was time for me to stop and rank all five Toy Story films with the inclusion of Lightyear ranked from the worst to the best. Hey everyone, S Dub Nation here. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's gonna pop up on your screen right now. And also, please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, it is just my list, and you're free to comment down below. Your ranking of all five Toy Story films ranked from the worst to the best, just like me, or you could just do your favorite. With that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into my ranking. Kicking off our list at number five for me has got to go to the newest addition to the franchise, Lightyear. As a concept and a spinoff, I found myself walking out of the film saying, it was fine, it was okay. The film has some gorgeous animation as well as some very cinematic shots that look amazing on the big screen. Chris Evans works as a more confident, smart, as well as flawed version of the exaggerated toy from the main franchise, but I found the second and third act to be quite boring, the film's side characters weren't that great, and the plot felt very familiar. I also wasn't crazy about Zerg the villain. Overall, while I think it was a solid sci-fi adventure, I walked out pretty disappointed. At number 4 for me is Toy Story 2. For years, Toy Story 2 was never my favorite. I was actually more prone to watching the first one than I would the second one, and that might be an unpopular opinion. But I think it's a good sequel that doubles down on the amazing themes of the first while offering a new arc for Woody. We got introduced to some more lively characters that you just instantly fall in love with, like Bullseye and Jesse. And the animation here is better and more crisp. Overall, it's another great trip to the toy box. I just wouldn't rewatch this one as often as I would the other ones. Kick it off my top three list for me has got to go to Toy Story 3. I saw this film in theaters all the way back in 2010 and I had a blast. But also, I kind of don't remember it that much. Toy Story was always a big part of my life. I got all the toys. I have the original Toy Story toys. They're in my toy. I mean, I, I have a toy box. Yeah, they're in my toy box in storage. And I'm never getting rid of those because I, I just love this franchise so much. And I feel like Toy Story 3, it, it symbolizes why we love the franchise. It's a perfect conclusion to the Andy trilogy and serves as a great analogy to when a person in your life leaves. I think the prison breakout story is actually pretty good and a nice change of pace for these Pixar films as well as for this for these Toy Story films. It has a really great great villain in Lasso, a person that you just really hate and I, I really love that he gets his due in the end. I think it has the best designs for the characters. I think this is really the best animation, the best texture for these characters. And I think overall, it just feels like an event. Toy Story 3 felt like an event. It felt like everything was coming to a close. And I really liked that until Toy Story 4 came out, however. Our runner-up at number two for me has got to go to Toy Story. The OG Pixar film is still one of the best the studio has ever put out. It's revolutionary when it comes to the technology of this animation being the first fully CG film ever. While growing up watching this film, I thought about my own toys through these great sets of characters. The whole entire story is enjoyable. Every scene inside of Andy's room is just great. And I even like the stuff inside of Sid's room as well. We have some great characters like Buzz Lightyear and Woody. Buzz Lightyear thinking that he's a toy. All of it is just so iconic. All of it is just so memorable. And I think they just cracked the code on how to tell this type of story, how to tell a unique, clever idea, but just makes it with a twist that adults can enjoy and kids can enjoy as well. The first trip to the toy box is still amazing. But coming in at my number one, obviously, and this has been in my number one since 2020, Toy Story 4. This is my favorite Pixar film. And as you can tell, my favorite Toy Story film as well. Obviously, Toy Story 3 was an amazing conclusion to the Andy story. But what about Andy's favorite toy, Woody? 
This film goes for a more emotional story, and I love that. The central idea of seeing an insecure Woody trying and struggling to get over his previous owner while he's not getting played with by Bonnie, and learning to let go of Andy and move on with his life. And even though a lot of people found that controversial, I really like that because the Toy Story films have always been about Woody. It's always been about these toys. They've always personified these toys and gave them arcs and gave them feelings. Woody wanting to go on and be a lost toy with Bo Peep isn't really out of the equation when it comes to these films. I love the themes of learning when it's your time to go and it's something so profound and so mature and emotional and everyone can relate to it. For those of us who grew up with this series, it's emotional to us to see Woody and Buzz part ways. I loved it. I loved every single second of this film. The animation is gorgeous. It's the best animated film in the Pixar film series. It challenges Woody's mindset, his principles, and I think they challenged it in a very effective way. Toy Story 4 closes out Woody's arc in an emotional and satisfying way. It pulled on my heartstrings, giving me nostalgia, laughs, and tears. Toy Story 4, to me, has to come in at number one. Man! I should have seen Toy Story 4 in theaters instead of the Lion King remake. That that was a big mistake on my half. I didn't even get to see the conclusion to the Toy Story franchise in theaters. I will forever not forgive myself for that all right guys that is it for the ranking please know that everything that i did say in this video was just my very own opinion my list was certainly not the right list it was just my list and you are free to comment down below your ranking on all five of the toy story films or you can just do the main four however you would like down in the comment section below have you seen Lightyear? What did you think about it? Comment that down below in the comment section as well. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's going to pop up on the screen right now. And also that Lightyear movie review is in the link in the description. And with that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Peace.